So heart attack comes when the mind is un unstable. Heart attack comes when the mind is filled with hatred. Heart attack comes when the mind is not in peace. And heart attack comes when the mind is agitated. So keep your mind under control. Even with all the vessels blocked, you will still be healthy. Because even school-going children, if you do an angiogram, they will have blocks. Nature evolves and uh, we were like the snake. Let us say we evolved from the snake. We from the monkeys, then we came up. In the snake, there is no coronary circulation at all. So the snake doesn't get a heart attack. Why did nature give us a coronary circulation to give heart attack? Probably we needed it. So now we have a special circulation for the heart itself called coronary circulation. There are vessels. Now this is a big business for us. Now we can always, when you go somewhere and say chest, or you go for a complete checkup, they first tell, run, make you run on a treadmill. That's called GTT, you know, they not GTT. That's called uh, TMT. They make you run on that. And then see the ECG. When you're running, the ECG usually is either up or down. So it doesn't really mean much. But they say it's more borderline positive. Then they'll say we'll do an angiogram. Absolutely no idea because angiogram is not a diagnostic test of anything. Because even school-going children, if you do an angiogram, they will have blocks. But when once you are doing an angiogram, they see a block and then frighten you and say, look, you have a block in this vessel. So you can't even, I can't even let you go home. You must have an operation right now or you must have a stunt. I call it a stunt, not stent. Right now. Then you say, why, why doctor, I, I have to go home and come. No, 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 I can't assure you. You may go home, but you will. Uh, I can't assure you that you'll come back alive. But if I'll tell you one very simple method to get out of that. You simply tell them, doctor, I'm sorry, I don't have the money. I'll get some money and then come back. They won't touch you. Then they'll say, don't worry, you can get some medicines, it's all right. But otherwise they'll say, okay, he's from Ema, then 10 lakhs is nothing. So I must bakra for him and get him and then do an angiogram and do it. Because how many people in India can afford 10 lakhs? And they, you know, they frighten the wives first. They say, look, your husband's condition is very, very bad. Then she'll say, okay, I'll sell my Mangala Sutra and also get a, get a angiogram done. So angiograms are done left, right and center for people. A lot of people send me an angiogram and say, now tell me what's to be done. So I tell them, I don't know what to do for the angiogram, but I know what to do for your father or mother, but I must examine them first. You see, today, clinical medicine has di uh, died. You go to the doctor, nobody examines you. They just write tests, uh, a battery of tests, and then write about 100 medicines. It's like a laundry list. The other day, one uh, very senior orthopedic surgeon in Madras, very famous name, he t uh, phoned me up and said, I want you to examine me. I said, okay, come. Then he came with a file, which is about this thick, uh, from National Hospital in Singapore. He said, See, they have done all that and they have given these medicines, but I am not feeling better. I said, I must examine you. He said, what do you mean? They have examined me. See this whole file there? I said, I don't know. I am not treating that file. I am treating you, Mr. So-and-so or Dr. So-and-so. He said, are you serious? I said, I am absolutely serious. Strip, strip down, take off your shirt, lie down, and I will examine you. I examined him for about half an hour. Didn't ask for any test. And I told him, you don't require any one of these medicines. Throw them into the waste paper basket. And I'll give you one medicine, you'll be all right. And he is much better and he's absolutely fine now. Now, what, he went and told his wife, who is also a doctor, that man examined me like a third-year medical student. She said, yes, that's the right thing. We were all taught like that. Do you have you forgotten that? Our teachers used to do that. That's called clinical medicine. That has died. At the end of the clinical medicine, you must have a diagnosis. And to refute that or to confirm that, you do one or maximum two tests. That's all what is needed. So, you know, once, if, once in a year or once in two years, I just get my blood sugar done. And I, in case, you know, I don't know, I, I'm not a diabetic, but in case I should be a diabetic, I just get a blood sugar done. And I also get a creatinine done to see if my kidney is uh, okay, is up and running. So these, uh, these kind of things, one or two tests, but today if you go, my God, Fat profile, I believe, 100 things, LDL, HDL, ABCDL, it's caste system, like, you know, this cretaceous, libaceous, that, that kind of a thing. So heart attack comes when the mind is un unstable. Heart attack comes when the mind is filled with hatred. Heart attack comes when the mind is not in peace. And heart attack comes when the mind is agitated. So 
keep your mind under control even with all the vessels blocked you will still be healthy now a block in the coronary artery does not give you heart attack an american doctor called valentine fuster did a study in new york where he did an angiogram on healthy 100 people and showed lot of blocks and wrote down if this man were to get a heart attack he should get a heart attack here because his artery is blocked and after about 15 years he saw a few of them had heart attack but none of them none of them mark my words none of them had a heart attack where there was a block so heart attack comes when the mind is un unstable heart attack comes when the mind is filled with hatred heart attack comes when the mind is not in peace and heart attack comes when the mind is agitated so keep your mind under control even with all the vessels blocked you will still be healthy